No Man's Sky has received a number of significant updates this year, and there's no signs of that stopping anytime soon. Update 3 for Beyond has just arrived, and this one includes a number of new features that should bring a bunch of story elements to players. Now, this comes in the form of missions that will be available at the Nexus, and essentially, it will guide players towards a single location within the game, so players will all build up there and all uh, collectively arrive there to achieve a singular goal. Now, as of right this moment, the new missions are not in the game, but they should arrive very shortly, according to Hello Games. On their website, they say the following. Weekend Missions. Very shortly, the Space Anomaly's first weekend mission will go live. NADA's space-time loom has detected a concerning pattern resonating across the universe, and they need help from their explorer friends to investigate. Readings indicate a disturbance in reality where an anomalous and possibly sinister force has begun to leak through to this universe. Now, apparently, these missions are going to continue for the foreseeable future, and they will tell an overarching story during their course. Each weekend will have a different mission as a part of that. Now, the missions will also offer Quicksilver as a reward, which is a pretty significant thing as it allows you to purchase some pretty nice stuff within the game. So, yeah, it's nice to see overarching story missions that will move the game forward, shared amongst the community, as well as the developer considering rewards for those things. In terms of the mission and story itself, then, you can tell that details are pretty light at the moment. And I suspect a lot of this is due to Hello Games wanting to keep this as a surprise. And I think that is both fair and entirely reasonable. Another side of this that's worth considering is what sort of impact the new multiplayer elements will have with this game. As you know, with the Beyond update, the game enabled far more players to come together into singular locations, especially on the PC. So having missions that enable players to work together should be pretty interesting to say the least. After all, the galaxy is a vast location, so giving players a reason to come together is certainly a good approach. These missions then are certainly something I'm going to be looking at in closer detail when they finally go live, so do keep an eye out for that particular video. Now that is the largest aspect of this particular update, however there are other elements included within it. A featured bases are one of these things. So as of now, players will be able to visit the Space Anomaly Teleporter, and from there they'll be able to see a selection of the best bases that Hello Games have actually come across. And the idea here is to showcase some of the best and some of the most creative buildings that are in the game, and there's a lot of those things out there. The idea then is that this list of featured bases will cycle regularly. The rest of the update contains a whole load of fixes and improvements to the game, some of them which have been much needed, but to be perfectly fair, Hello Games have been regularly bug fixing the game ever since the Beyond update, which is pretty nice to see. And if you do want to read all the information about this particular update, do have a look at the link in the video description as it contains a list of all the bug fixes. But basically, the two main points of this update are the new story missions that should be enabled very soon and the community spotlight. As a part of this development update though, Hello Games did discuss the future of the game and they also mentioned that the Beyond update brought in a whole load of new players as well as brought back a large number of old existing players. They were also keen to stress that there's a whole load of new updates on the way and many of them are based upon player suggestions and player feedback. And they also asked for further suggestions and feedback so that they can potentially add these into the game as well. So uh, yeah, if you've got any ideas then I guess let Hello Games know. It seems they're very keen to improve the game according to community requests. So overall, No Man's Sky continues to move forward at a very rapid pace and in a very good way. My only real concern at this point is the performance issues I still have in VR, and I'd be interested to hear as to whether other people are still having performance issues on the PC version here. Now, you may remember from my first impressions video that I did have some significant performance issues with VR, and this was a thing that was fairly widespread. Now, Hello Games have put a lot of fixes out there, and I've got to say it is quite a bit better at this point. Although that said, I'm also using a new graphics card now, an RTX 2080 Super, However, the performance isn't still anywhere near as good as it really should be, especially down on planets. But for me at least, that's the only real issue that I still have with the game. Everything else is in a very good place. The new update then is available across all platforms, and once these stories kick off, it sounds as though it's going to be well worth taking a look at. Of course, that's if you can fit it in, because there's a whole bunch of very good titles out there at the moment. Either way, you're looking forward to getting into this one. 
As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.